Hey, what's up? Welcome to my book. Now, you may have seen this on Twitter. I released it in a series of 379 tweets. Got a moral and everything. All right, here goes. Once upon a time, there was a 22-year-old boy named Deshaun, just like the author of this book. Coincidence? Do ya? I don't think so. So this kid was walking home from school one day, and a purple dinosaur jumped out from behind a brick wall. Now, this was Jersey, so Deshaun freaked the f*** out. Now, he goes, no, don't eat me or nothing. Like, licking is okay. Yeah, you can lick. All right, you're my pet friend now. So Deshaun takes Purple Dinosaur home, and Mom's there. And at first, she's like, oh, hell no. Nah. But Deshaun was like, oh, no, nah, it's cool. <laughs> don't tell my baby daddy, you know what I'm saying? But deep in the heart of Deshaun, he knew that baby daddy would not approve of Purple Dinosaur. Meanwhile, in the house, Purple Dinosaur and Deshaun was just playing around the house until Deshaun's face show came on the TV. The family guy always made Deshaun laugh. They just like the Simpsons, but they're not the Simpsons. You know what I'm saying? So it made Deshaun forget about Purple Dino. Then all of a sudden, Deshaun's father shouts, OMG, get your whoopee cakes in the goddamn kitchen. Now, boy. Now when Deshaun got in the kitchen, it stank. It stank like hell. Because of the massive dino poo-poo on the table, the dad was madder than a wet hen that just stepped in dino poo-poo. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was big. It was massive. And it was filled with branches and shit and cars and ugly people. So Deshaun was forced to get rid of Purple Dinosaur. So naturally, he gave him to the nice man at GameStop. It by no GameStop, right? Get your Tetris on. Now, he knew the man was a virgin because he worked at GameStop. So he wasn't going to do anything weird to the Purple Dino. Now, Deshaun was sad. But then, he slammed a half dozen root beers and he felt awesome, right? Except, he still had to clean up the dino shit. But then, he happily realized that he'd never have to clean up all this dino poo ever again. It's important to be thankful for the little things. The moral of the story is, don't let your friend take a dump on your parents' house because then you get in trouble and you gotta clean up the dump while your friend gets to go live at GameStop. <laughs>